Thank you guys for being here today and taking time out of your day to listen to what SAC does and our communication plan to have an even larger impact than we have today. SAC stands for Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Each sport at our university is represented by two voting members. Our position as voting members is to vote on issues or circumstances that we believe will best benefit or represent our university. SAC isn't just an athletic department organization, but we are also involved in the community and help other campus organizations as much as we can. We are excited to see you all here today. It shows us that you are interested in getting involved within an organization that affects you, your peers, and your community. Like I previously mentioned, there is only two voting positions per sport, but don't let that discourage you. Our plan is to expand SAC. Historically, it has been limited to two members per sport, but we would like to increase that by allowing non-voting members. We are encouraging non-voting members to join. It allows for more voices to be heard before voting and increases the likelihood of moving into a voting member in the future. SAC will be sending out a weekly newsletter via email to all student athletes, coaches, and administrators because we believe it is important for them to know what all is going on throughout our conference and the NCAA and to increase interest among non-SAC members. I would like to provide you some examples of what we voted on in the 2017-2018 year. We voted on whether to allow a university in Mexico to join an NCAA conference. We also uh, voted on practice seasons as if they needed to be changed. For example, some seasons begin in November and end in March. Therefore, the coach cannot hold mandatory workouts in, say, June and July. So we voted on what practice seasons should be mandatory for sports, whether does it begin a month or two months before seasons. We also voted on how many days a sports team can practice or compete consecutively without a day off. SAC does more than just act as a voting committee on current issues in the athletic department. We are also an organization that represents the athletes to the student body. We like to participate in other school-sponsored events, whether it is a Greek Life event, FCA event, or any other campus organization. Us at SAC are all passionate about the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Each year, we hold fundraising activities with a goal of raising enough money to grant an entire wish. In the fall, each sports team, take, each sport, each sports team takes turn in making baked goods for a bake sale before each home football game. In October, we have a Halloween party where each team creates a sports-related game and local kids are able to come and participate. For example, at this event last year, the football team did a 40-yard dash in a throwing competition, while the basketball team did a free throw competition. Both of these events are donation-driven, as there isn't a price to attend the Halloween event, and the bake sale is open to negotiation. The granddaddy of them all is the annual SAC Make-A-Wish Dodgeball Tournament. A typical year, you can expect to see 15 women's and 15 men's teams competing. Each team is $25 while we sell $2 tickets that allow you to get back in the game if knocked out. This is a very fun event as it brings different organizations from across campus to enjoy a night of competitive fun and fundraising for a great organization. We believe by expanding SAC that it will benefit the organization as a whole. It will provide us more people to brainstorm among when deciding which way to vote. It will also provide more people to aid in fundraising and participating in SAC and other organization events. The goal of expanding SAC is allow us to make a bigger impact and we believe it is a simple solution of growing the amount of people involved. By expanding SAC, it will benefit our university's athletic department and other campus-wide organizations as we would be able to offer more support and hopefully it would be able to benefit more Make-A-Wish Foundation children. SAC runs on about an eight month clock as we are not operating through the summer and we adjust to losing and gaining new members each year as people graduate and others join. We run a tight ship and for us to accomplish our yearly goals, we have to have everyone participating and doing their part. 
We would be thrilled to have you guys join us at SAC as a voting member or non-voting member. With the help of you all, we can extend our goal of granting one wish to granting three or four. Thank you guys for your time, and if you have any questions at all, please come speak with us as we are going to hang out for a bit at the conclusion of the meeting. Another way to get in touch with SAC would be just to speak with us when you see us through the hall, speak to your coaches, speak to your compliance administrators to the athletic department. It's pretty basic criteria for joining. You must be uh, a student athlete and you just have to have the support of your coach. They would just sign off stating that they would trust you to make wise decisions and that you would uh, be doing it for the betterment of our athletic department, your team, and for the community, and that you're someone that they would gladly have represent uh, their sports team on the campus. Thank you guys, and we hope to see you all soon.